everybody, it's Shelby with a Chick Plus 3. Welcome. I hope everybody's new year is off to a good start. I've tried to film this intro about three times and Mr. Brent is just not being super cooperative. He is looking for his treats. I hope everybody's new year 2021 is off to a great start. Um, mine has been uh, interesting to say the least, um, but I know you're not here for that. You are here for the Dollar Tree Haul. So today I have my first Dollar Tree Haul of 2021 and I am super excited um, in the direction that it looks like our good old Dollar Tree is going this year. So I would love it if you would join me. What do you say? Let's go. So the first item that I found, um, I have never seen this at my Dollar Tree before, and it are these scrub it disposable quick eraser sheets. Now I have found the dupe to the Mr. Clean, the white erasers, which I use very often. Um, but I like the idea of this. It's five separate sheets, so you use it, um, and then it's disposable. So, you know, because that, that full size like magic eraser, that does start to, on me anyways, like kind of rip and disintegrate. And then even if you rinse it, you know, you want to save it to reuse it. It's kind of grimy. So I really like the idea of these disposable sheets. Again, you get five. So I was excited to find those and I'm going to give those a try. The next item I got, and I was very happy this was back in stock. I've hauled this numerous times before since prior to Thanksgiving, and it is this sparkling non-alcoholic sangria. You get 25.4 fluid ounces, and I mean, I just love this stuff. I put a little slice of um, dried orange in it that I get at Trader Joe's, and this is delicious and extremely festive. Now this next item, I have never seen this before. I haven't seen anybody haul it. I'm very excited by it. And it is called Shiny Steel. So it's this sponge. It's purple on one side and soft. And then this other side has this like gritty stainless steel colored pad. And this says that it's ideal for cleaning delicate surfaces. Silver plus fiber makes stainless steel shine again. And you get two of them, um, and they're scouring sponges. Oh, I see. Okay, I thought it was one big one. It's divided down the middle, so that is even better. There you can see the division, too. But um, part of my range, my stove, is just little parts of it are stainless steel. And so far to date, I have never found anything that really works well. The back part of it by, um, you know, behind like the burners, grease splatters and everything. And um, most of the stainless steel products that I have used are too harsh and they're removing some of the shine. So I'm really super excited to try this. So I definitely wanted to get this product hauled so that I could give it a go this week. So again, two sponges. If you've ever used these, I'd like to know what you think about them. Um, you could just let me know in the comments down below. But as I say, I will definitely give these a try this week and um, in my next video, I'll let you all know how it worked for me, what I thought of it. The next item, I know the Dollar Tree has carried these in the past, so I'm very happy that they have pulled them out again for this year. And it's four pieces, um, and it is red plastic hearts. They do have a little spot that you could turn them into a hanger if you want. Um, 
you know, so like a, like an ornament, but they do open up so you can fill them. And I have seen people hauling from like places like Marshalls and TJ Maxx, very similar things that have raid that are raid done that have text on them. I don't have a cricket. I do have rub on transfers from the Dollar Tree, but you could definitely use these for a very cost effective DIY dupe in creating those raid done ornaments. Just you know, paint these in some pastel colors or white, any color you want with chalk paint. You know, if you don't have a cricket. You could just even use like a paint marker, which the Dollar Tree has. Again, a rub-on sticker, regular sticker, Mod Podge on them. But you could definitely do a lot with these for your own DIY project. I'm sorry about that. Mr. Brin is, you know, doing a lot of speaking right now. The next item I picked up, I grabbed these for myself. And it's just a little pair of crew socks. And I love it that it says, we belong together. I've never seen this design at the Dollar Tree before, so I was happy to grab those for myself. I picked this up for my husband, Russell Stover, strawberry cream in white fudge candy. Um, a serving size is three piece, or two pieces rather. And it says there's about three servings in the package. So again, probably six pieces. Although as I've said in the past, when I open these, I think I often have seven pieces. So this again is a seasonal product that they have out. They always, at my Dollar Tree anyways, Carol, carry Russell Stover candies, but the strawberry cream is out now um, for upcoming Valentine's Day. And speaking of candy, I got these for my grandson because he loves Tiger Pops. So at Christmas, they had the Tiger Pop swirls out in red and green. And now the swirls are um, a nice red and white. I was going to see if I can get one down where, where you can see it. You can see that red right there. That is the lollipop. So these are nice size. Um, my grandchildren are doing remote learning, so I know there won't be like in-classroom treats, but if you have kids or grandkids that do that, you get 20 of these pops in a bag for a dollar. So that is a really good deal. So the next items that I picked up, and I got two of the same thing, and it is the basket here. Um, oh, I don't think it has a size, but I would say that's probably a seven by four. Um, if you do pick these up, make sure to grab the lid that goes with it. Um, I really like this lid. It doesn't snap on tight, it just sets on, but then it makes them perfect for stacking. Now, um, I do want to mention in the past I have used um, some of these baskets in my refrigerator and sadly what I have found is after a few months of them being in the cold in my fridge, when I've reached for them, I have um, cracked them, the plastic becomes brittle. So just an FYI, if you're looking to do refrigerator organization, um, you maybe you want to go with like the Dollar Tree, the solid um, plastic. I think it's like by Home Essentials bins. I have hauled some of those. And those definitely, I've never had any issue with them turning brittle and breaking. So the next item I found is this frame. Now, um, I had seen people haul these forever and finally, right before Christmas, I found one. Um, and then sadly, right as I checked out, I picked it up off the counter and it fell and it totally broke. The glass or plastic, whatever this is, didn't break, but the frame just shattered. These, I mean, I love Dollar Tree frames, don't get me wrong, but the quality on these are horrendous. They're basically, it all just like split apart to sawdust. This is definitely just like um, pressed paper 
this frame, not even a nice plastic. So again, for what it is, I used it, um, so I, I went back and purchased another one, and I'm using it. It's the perfect size for the Dollar Tree calendars. So, you know, for something like that, to just stick up and interchange my calendar as a little inexpensive piece of decor, it's good for what it is. But if you are looking to, like, frame a nice family photo or give us a gift, I would suggest the Dollar Tree has numerous, numerous frames, really nice, high-quality ones that I would just forego. This particular frame, if you're looking to frame a piece of artwork or something. As I say, just because again, it's um, very flimsy and it did not take anything to um, break mine and it was the weirdest thing. It literally like turned to sawdust. So this is not even like a nice pressed wood. It's, it's like a weird like pressed paper. So in any case, Enough talk about that. Now I have to be careful not to drop that one. The next item I was super excited for, and it is this reusable tote bag. And I got this for my daughter-in-law. It says Farmer's Market. Um, here are the, the handles. It has double handles on each side. They're longer than what I'm showing here, but mine are kind of caught up in the tag. And... Um, it has those little plastic things. I don't want to pull it because I'm afraid I'll rip the bag. So they had a few different designs, but I thought this one was ideal for her where she does visit the farmer's market. So the next item I picked up are this set of pot holders. Now, again, in all honesty, the quality of these pot holders is not super. Um, so that you don't get burned. You really need to use two of them. But I have like a little defect in my tile um, in my kitchen where there used to be um, an outlet that no longer is connected to anything or works. And so I have like a hook basically to hide the defect. So right now I have my gingerbread pot holders hanging, but I just needed um, something until I think of a better idea, again, to continue to cover the defect. And so I thought these were cute. Love is a four-legged word. Um, and again, I just wanted decorative pot holders. I'm not going to use them because if I'm going to keep them hanging out there, you know, I really want something that looks clean and stays nice. So I just grabbed these, but I'm going to keep an eye out for something better or a better solution. And I am sorry, my dogs are so noisy today. I've been trying to get this haul up for you guys and I want to get it up. I want to use my items and my dogs are just not cooperating. Um, that's Mr. Bryn barking out the window. Oh, and here's little Miss Mika. So the next item I picked up, I always scope out the toy aisle at the Dollar Tree and I thought this was super adorable. It's They're calling it a little pet house and this one is little cats, four little cats. So again, we all know right at the Dollar Tree you see something, if you don't get it, there's no guarantee it will be there even if you literally go back later the same day. So I thought this was really sweet. I would get it and put it away for my grandchildren. Um, probably I like to do a little like Easter basket for them or you know this would be a cute little birthday toy. So I picked this up for them. And speaking of toys and putting away things for Easter or birthday, I thought this was really cute. I've never seen this before and it's a build your own truck. It includes the little plastic screwdriver and 18 truck pieces. This is made in the USA. Um, it's a Greenbrier product, but I thought that would be something that was cute and maybe my son 
could do this with his son, with my grandson. They like to build Legos together, so I thought for a dollar that was a cute little toy to pick up. So the next item I picked up, nothing exciting, but I needed. I love to get my staples at the Dollar Tree, and so it's this 28-pack of sandwich bags. They are the zipper top. It says they're jumbo size storage, so I love using things like this for leftovers or sending leftovers um, home with my son or daughter-in-law when they pick up the grandkids. So I grabbed this. These are also great for storing um, craft supplies, you know, kids things, crayons, colored pencils, um, whatever. So many toys today that the kids have have a gazillion little tiny pieces, you know, all those blind bag things, the LOL dolls. I mean, maybe you know, maybe you don't, but um, kids' toys are coming with so many tiny pieces. So even bags like this work out well once they open it to corral all the pieces, all the game pieces. So I picked up those. And then it looks like the last item that I have for today is this micro cable with carrying case. So this was just an impulse buy. Um, it says it's a high speed charging and data transfer. So I was going to try this out and see. I have lots of holiday photos on my phone that I need to get transferred onto my laptop. And for some reason I thought that, oh, if I just used my charger it would work, but I it must be something different I, in, on mine or I'm doing something wrong. I have no idea because supposedly um, this charges and data transfers, but my cord only seems to charge. So I'm going to give this a go for a dollar. I thought it was definitely well worth, you know, picking it up if I can get all of the photos off of my phone and stored into my laptop. So that's everything I have for today. As always, I want to sincerely thank you for taking time out of your busy day to spend a little bit of it with me. And if you're so inclined, if you liked my video, I would love it if you give it a thumbs up. Um, in the comments, I'd love to hear what finds you're finding post-holiday at your Dollar Trees. And until next time, everybody, remember, please be well.